Hello birdies, today we're bringing you something that you have been requesting for quite a while. It's a petite video, yes? And our little petite model, Rainy, is back from a little break, so that's why we've been able to uh, secure her today as our little model. Um, so we're going to give you a few options today on how to dress, a few tips that might help you um, with your wardrobe dilemmas because we totally get that it is frustrating. Sometimes you get out there and you just can't find the right length or the right thing, not quite sure what to wear. So hopefully we will come up with a few solutions for you today. Here comes Rainy with our first look for today. We're doing a bit of a casual look today. Rainy, what are you wearing today? The Falling For You Cardi, which is in so many colors, which you'll absolutely love. Yep. And what we're going to talk about here is the monochromatic sort of dressing. So as you can see, Rainy has got the black on black underneath this yep. Falling For You Cardi and I've done the same with this. So it gives you the illusion of length and height um, by drawing that colour all the way up. You could do, we've done a nude shoe. so. Most of you petite girls would probably wear a heel already. You know that that always helps elongate the leg. But what we've done is we've kept the nude going through there. So that's flattering as well. Yeah. And I've done the same with the all black under here too. So these are the jeans. Rainy's got jeans on here and we're going to show another look with the jeans as well. And what we've done is we've just turned them up. They were quite long. We've just turned them up, cuffed them up. Um, and that's something that I'm sure you're all used to doing already, either turning the cuffs up or flipping them up. But sometimes if we roll the cuffs up and you end up with quite a, a thick bit around the ankle, that can chop off as well. So always remember the chop chop. Yeah. Like you don't want to have that. So, um, and also if I had a black shoe on too, yeah. I would look even longer. You would. <laughs> So what we're showing you here is the monochromatic, the all one coloured look underneath this Cardi. And we're going to show you a different way to style this with breaking up the colours a little bit as well. Okay, so we've got another little look here. So casual, we're going to turn it into a smart casual look as well. So we've got this great black dress, which is a very plain shift dress. Great length, it's got to split up the side, which is great for our petite girls as well. And we're just doing it with a little denim um, jacket, jacket. Yep. to make it look a little bit um, trans-seasonal as well. So again, we've rolled the sleeves up. So remembering girls, for the petite girl, three quarter sleeve works best. So you'll always find that it balances your body better if you've got that three quarter sleeve, especially when you are like a little bit height challenged there, aren't you, Rainy? <laughs> so a three quarter sleeve, would you agree, Rainy? Definitely. And I think a petite girl naturally tends to do that. Well, I find I do because it just gives us a bit of balance. Yeah. yeah. So finding the right length dress is always a trick. Yes. Um, you know, one thing we sort of suggest is trying to find yourself also a seamstress or getting clever yourself with hemming tape. Um, you might need to buy a longer dress to get at the perfect length for you or perfect or a longer pair of pants to get at the perfect length for yeah. you. So you can use hemming tape or get yourself a seamstress. So then those items you can have in your wardrobe forever. So what's really important, birdies, is that you get the most out of your wardrobe. And that's what we're trying to help you do here as wingbirds. So finding, you know, the perfect dress that you can maximize the looks out of is what we're trying to help you with here. And we're going to give you another look, another different look for this little black dress. Okay, so what we're going to show you in this little segment is all about structure and flow. And it's all about the body shape and finding the perfect item for your body shape so we totally understand we've got rainy here today but all of your you petite little birds come in different shapes and sizes you might have bigger busts you might have longer legs long bodies short bodies so you've got to find the right balance and that's what this is about so it's about structure and flow um, so we've got the Skinny both got tapered pants on. We're going to show you a different look on Rainy as well. I've got the longer um, by design pants on and Rainy's got the shorter ones, which are perfect for petite. So check the blurbs on all of our items because they will tell you if they're right for the petite for girl. Petite girl. Um, so if you really needed to find the right length, you would probably go for the longer 
pant if you have got a longer leg and have them hemmed or hem them up yourself to the perfect length. Or you could, if you don't wanna be bothered with hemming or anything like that, go for the ones that aren't going to need hemming and it will tell you that it's for the, um, it will suit a petite girl. So this top is also perfect um, for our petite girl. It's got pattern, it's got a smaller pattern. Remembering, um, birdies, that pattern, if you're a petite girl, don't wear really big bowl pattern. I'm not saying don't wear, you can wear it. If you really love it, wear it, go for it, if you feel good in it. But we recommend you wear a smaller pattern that keeps the eye busy and it doesn't, it's not too big and bold on you. So this one keeps the eye busy. It's a fake wrap, this top. So again, it's giving you a waist. So it's actually giving Rainy the illusion of a beautiful figure eight shape. Um, it's got a little peplum here. It's stopping at the right spot on her. So the balance is perfect. It's got a three quarter sleeve, v-neck for the girls with a bigger bust and that beautiful faux wrap at the front beautiful wrap yeah so this is a, a gorgeous little top so try and find tops that give you a bit of shape they either come into the smaller part of your body and sometimes the smaller part of your body will be up underneath your bust and for some of us it's down a bit lower on the waist so your your smallest part of your body will change over life it does <laughs> So again, with structure and flow birdies, we totally understand that not all of you will like to wear a tapered pant. Some of you might like to wear something a little bit wider, um, more of a calotte. So this is a cropped pant um, and it is perfect for our petite girl. And what we're gonna do is show you again, a couple of different ways to wear it. So um, it's got a bit of structure at the top with the blazer and the, little, and the all black again underneath. And then you've got your flow at the bottom. So this blazer is perfect. It's got a three quarter sleeve and the waist and everything goes in at the right place. So we'll show you again with the pattern top how you can wear this um, wide leg pant. And seeing the pattern top will have a structure at the top and it'll flow at the bottom again. So don't be afraid of dresses either. We have so many dresses on our site. You can filter by petite down our left-hand side on the filters page. So you can find the perfect length dress for you. Sometimes a midi can turn into a maxi. So what we're doing here is we're gonna show you two different um, styles. Again, dependent on your body shape and what you prefer to wear. This is a more slim cut look. This is perfect for the office. Again, it's got a pattern on it that's keeping your eye busy. It's got a band through the middle, which is creating the illusion of the hourglass figure. It's got a V-neck, which is great again for the girls with a bigger bust. Perfect three quarter sleeve and a great length, which is just to the knee. Now, we sometimes say don't wear shoes with an ankle strap because they can cut you off, but this is still elongating because they're black, carrying that color right through from um, the shoulder to the feet. So we, we tend to say go for a nude shoe because it will make the leg look longer and don't cut it off with the strap. But this is working for Rainy. Lovely little dress here. Mm, it's a great comfy. Um, and you know, don't be afraid to look for a maxi dress. I know some of you might prefer to have your legs covered. I know we get that request all the time. So find a maxi dress, but you might have to get it hemmed. So often what we'll say is try and just keep the ankle showing a little bit so that it still creates a great balance on a petite girl. So play with hemming tape again or get it hemmed or maybe you can sew and hem yourself. I think they've forgotten how to sew, don't you think? Definitely. Days, Rainy? And I. <laughs> and I, yeah. So um, we're gonna show you another look, which is a fit and flare look. So for the girl that's curvier, might prefer the fit and flare look. Okay, so not forgetting the evening wear, we have touched on a little bit of evening wear here for you. So, you know, most of you will wear heels when you're going out, so you can wear, look at Rainy, she's in a maxi dress. So mm. a great thing about this gorgeous dress is it's also got a split up the front. So one thing to look for, petite birds, is something that's either a high-low that wraps around like that, or it's higher at the front and longer at the back, so you can get away with it, or a beautiful split up the front like this one here. Um, if you don't wanna wear long, we actually do have the shorter version of this dress as well, and you can always find, you know, again, the perfect dress and the perfect length for you. 
um, by filtering for the petite girl. So hopefully you have found some really valuable tips from our petite video today. And thank you, Rainy, for being the best petite model Pleasure. we have here. Um, so a few tips that we'd really love you to remember is, one of the first things we talked about was elongating your body. So creating that monochromatic, all one look under here and trying to elongate. Yep. Um, the second one was investing in your wardrobe, getting yourself, you know, uh, finding the perfect piece, even if you have to get it hemmed um, or do some hemming yourself. So remembering to find the right things that you can keep in your wardrobe forever, even if you do have to do a little bit of work to them. Um, the third one was uh, structure and flow and remembering your body shape and finding the right things for your body shape. Knowing that petite comes in all shapes and sizes um, and all body shapes, some are curvier than others, but you know, you're all petite, you're all in this together. So yep. find the right thing with structure and flow, remembering the balance, three quarter sleeves, where your neckline. waistline, yep. your neckline and all of those things. And if all else fails, reach out to us wingbirds and look on the site because we have got fantastic filters we actually have got a petite filters page um, you can shop by petite um, and reach out and we'll try yeah. and bring this to yeah. you again yeah. thank you rainy so thank you all for Bye. watching see you later thank you.